Trump during an awards gala on Friday, demanding the president keep his hands off Elizabeth Warren. Alward's comments during an acceptance speech at the National Organization for Women's Awards ceremony came after Trump attacked Sen. Elizabeth Warren, D. Massachusetts, during a campaign rally this week. Mr. Trump, number Metu is alive and well. Keep your hands off Elizabeth Warren and every mother and her daughter, Alward said, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Alward also attacked the president over charges from Democrats that his forthcoming Supreme Court nominee would likely be in favor of overturning Roe v. Wade, the landmark case legalizing abortion across the country. It is very personal to me because I was one of the millions of women who was forced to have an unsafe abortion, Alward said, adding that she almost bled to death in a bathtub and had to be taken to the hospital. We are going to have to fight for our rights, plantation by plantation state by state. And who's going to be the most vulnerable? It's women, she said. Her comments come after Trump mocked the number Metu movement against sexual assault during his campaign rally on Thursday in Montana, while making a jab at Warren's claims of Native American heritage. Trump said he would challenge Warren to take a DNA test to prove her Native American heritage, adding, we will take that little DNA kit and say, but we have to do it gently, because we're in the Me Too generation so we have to be very gentle. I promise you I'll do this, you know those little kits they sell on television for $2? Learn your heritage, Trump added. Warren responded on Twitter, slamming Trump for the comment and going after his administration's separation of migrant families at the border. Hey, at Real Donald Trump, while you obsess over my genes, your admin is conducting DNA tests on little kids because you ripped them from their mamas and you are too incompetent to reunite them in time to meet a court order. Maybe you should focus on fixing the lives you're destroying, the senator tweeted.